All right, welcome back to the last part of the muffin tray extravaganza. Made kind of a big mess, that's okay. I'll figure it out later. So I'm gonna go in here and we wanna secure these muffin cups. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come in with a paintbrush, go around and around and around as we do. Get your potter's thumb, make sure that this is nice and round, or your rubber tip tool will also work nicely. Make sure that these are flat. I'm just going to push down on them first, make sure they're nice and flat. Some of them were a little, they got a little bit of a, a sag when it was flipped over the other way, so I want to make sure these guys are flat. Secure them first with a water and paint. Water and paint. You're making slip, right? When you water clay down. Over one of them, and then we're going to attach another support coil. So. These tins, these tins are going into the oven. They're going to deal with thermal expansion. You want to make sure this part is connected as well. Um, and thermal expansion is going to really put a lot of stress on this muffin tray. So, um, you know, the more su support coils and um, checking your joins that you can do, the better. So right now I'm taking my, th my finger with a little bit of water and I'm making sure that the top of the cup is connected well and that it's not sharp around this top edge. I'm not getting rid of my texture, I'm just making sure that the sharpness has gotten softened a little bit. And then I will put my secure coils, my support coils on the bottom. And then we're done. That was it. This is gonna wow. When you take this home, family's gonna freak out. They are going to love it. And I'm telling you, these will be the best cupcakes you've ever made in your life. In your life. All right, we are, we are secured. Out. It's good to have it on a banding wheel because you want to make sure you look at all your spots. You don't want to leave anything that has not been fully blended and secured. You could even come in here with a rib, right? This would also be a good idea. Make sure that you're fully attached. Again, this works really good with a banding wheel. A lot of support coils on this project for sure. Okay. Gonna miss this one. All right. Everything's been ribbed, everything's been secured. Now it's time for little tiny coils. Um, and then remember that it's nice to wet your board down when you're making tiny coils. And these want to be really tiny, you guys. Be tiny, you guys. You do not end forever thinning these out, smoothing them in. 
making them disappear. So the tiniest of coils is all you need. I'm going to drop it in there. Push down with my finger. And then we'll smooth them out. Just blend them in. You definitely want to blend to the point where you cannot see that coil at all. A little bit of water. And that coil has 100% disappeared. See it? 100% disappeared. You don't want to have any, any vision of a coil that's been there. And again, that's why you want a really tiny coil. You don't want to spend a lot of time doing this. This is like the very last step before signing it. And so you want to kind of just cruise through this step. But it's a really important step, especially again because of thermal expansion in the oven. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but bakeware um, is a little different than a regular muffin tin that you would buy at the store. And so you, you don't have to preheat your oven. You can, and that's fine. If you preheat your oven, you might want to take, you might want to check your muffins before the actual suggested time. If you don't preheat your oven, then it should be fine with the suggested cook time on your recipe. It just acts a little different when it's different when it's um, homemade. All right, so we are going to, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna come into all the tins, all the little muffin cups and secure them with a support coil. And then we'll put our final touches on it, which is basically just smoothing the rim even more. So I'm pushing down on this coil first and then smoothing it in with a little bit of water for it to disappear. Goodbye. Yep. All right, we are back and I have put my um, support coils in on each of these muffin cups. I am pretty much done with this piece. You can see how pretty now your decorative piece is. You just want to make sure and soften your edges, your exterior edge. You can see that this is not even moving. That's because my clay is pretty dry. I'm going to run my groggy sponge on the inside of these muffin cups and on the edges so that this is softened and not sharp. And that is basically it. You will all definitely need to make sure that this dries very, very slowly. So as always in ceramics, plastic on the top is super duper important. Um, things to remember that are really important is your groggy sponge that says mud tools on it and um, making sure, of course, you use grogged clay, A, that you put support coils. Don't take the shortcuts. Make sure, that's, make sure you are um, making these muffin trays strong, strong so that they will can use them. You want to hand wash them after you've used them. And that is your muffin tray, all finitoed. Beautiful. There we go. Ta-da! All right.